Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalope. And today, yeah. it seems like I introduced the show correctly, but more importantly, we are going to play Arena the Contest. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. It's so cool. So, Arena the Contest is sort of an arena battling game. I mean, it's kind of right there in the title, right? Mm -hmm. There are three different modes inside of this game box. There mm -hmm. is a epic campaign mm -hmm. mode. Uh, there is a one-shot player versus environment, which sort is of quest mode, scenario mm -hmm. cooperative-driven quest mode. We're not playing either of those. First uh -oh. off, because the epic campaign is hours and hours and hours long. Yeah, uh, and so a little bit hard to bring the camera here. The cooperative mode. We're already extremely good at cooperative games as it is. We let's, usually break them, and we don't want to break. Let's this. be honest. There's not a cooperative game we've faced that we can't overcome. If you doubt us, go see our video on, on Slide Quest. On Slide Quest, yeah. Uh, so we figured we'd do player versus player. Mm -hmm. The whole PvP, the core of an arena combat dueling Skirmish system. Skirmish games. To show off the mechanics of the game, how we can make it a little bit messy, the crazy things you get to do throughout yep. the course. And that'll give you a gauge of what the campaign mode, the cooperative, the player versus environment is. There are a few things that are different from the PvP versus oh, yeah. story-driven. What are those elements? So specifically, quest cards are going to essentially deal with a specific environment or yep. a specific way of setting up the board. You'll take the pieces, you'll set it up, you'll start your heroes, and you're obviously working together. You'll have four characters that you can divide amongst either two players, yep. three players, or four players, and you get to fight some bad guys. Those bad guys are going to have an AI deck that they're going to use in order to resolve their actions and everything. Well, and one of the really cool mm -hmm. things with the campaign mode is you're not only playing through these scenarios and stories, mm -hmm. it's a book full of flavor text and lore, you know I love that. But on top of that, you're also going to be leveling up, yep. getting experience, artifacts, scrolls, and spells. We're messing with some of those items yeah. in this player versus player mode. So, so one of the cool things about Arena of the Contest is yeah. you can mix and match different bits and bobs of different types of campaigns and styles to whatever you want. So what we did in this particular playthrough is that we made it extra messy. We're using artifacts on some of our characters, uh -huh. and we also have scrolls yep. that we can use in dire and you know, in dire situations. So, and then each character cool. we drafted each one of our yep. teams. There's a pile of other characters and miniatures inside the main box mm -hmm. that we're not utilizing. I'm sure you'll see some footage of them. Uh, so all of this is modular. The yep. characters we're using, the passive abilities, the scrolls, the items, the level of experience that each one has. There's a lot of customization you can oh, do. Yeah. All that being said. We will do our very best to play as accurately as possible, but this is a game that this is a game that has a reasonable amount of mess. Yeah, there's well, um, I wouldn't call it mess. There's just minutia that we have to get around. No, no, no. mess is not an insult. <laughs> I like messy games. That's <laughs> why true. I'm so excited about about this. But it's got a lot of moving parts and a lot of things to try to mediate and figure out. Mm -hmm. So our tenth game of this will be more accurate and refined in our art. Of course. The teams we use and the way we chain abilities and stuff will be better displayed seven months from now. There's a monk over game. there that I kind of want to try out, but yeah, yeah, yeah. not today. There's a lot of cool things. But we're going to show off the way that this game works, how these things chain together. I haven't seen anyone else do a, a PvP game. Uh, a lot of people are diving into the campaign. Oh, yeah. So there's other videos you can check out, but we're, we're excited to show this off. Oh, yeah. How do we get started? Well... Another interesting aspect about PvP mode is that you actually get to set up the board with tiles that we pre-drafted, yeah. right? So every each one of these tiles has different types of things that they're going to do. As we're placing them, we'll give you a really brief description of what they do. But we get to set up the stage of our grand combat. Yeah, the which way is, we decide that. Which is even crazier because not only is all of this modular, but also the this. environment we're fighting in is also modular. For those of you that don't want to go <sighs> through the effort, there's also, I can't flip it here, but there's a side that yep. has a predetermined battle map. And it's it's really interesting, but we kind of just wanted to prepare our own yeah. space for battle. However, we do have to roll a die to determine who goes first. I'm the dark player? Yes, you are. Okay, great. Oh, Three to two. wow. Really? A bad, I mean, that was insane. a horrible beginning roll. So from this point onwards- You have to what, whole roll higher than yes, threes and twos? Yes, this is, is pathetic. That? I mean, I'm still... This okay. is horrible. Yeah. But you still win. So I do. you get to place your tiles first. So we'll do this one and one. and one. So he'll place one tile, I'll place another yeah. one. So go ahead. Okay. First, before we get into this, mm -hmm. though, I do want to say, Arena, the contest, is currently on Kickstarter. It is. Um, <gasps> they didn't pay us to say this. We're just posting this video in correlation with the Kickstarter launch because 
It's good for views. Why not? I mean, it's, yeah. it's really good for views. <laughs> it let's, really is. Let's be honest. You're searching for this content probably because the Kickstarter is currently live. So hopefully this gives you a sense of this game. But if you found our channel because of that, because you're looking for content on this, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you enjoy what we're making. We put a lot of time and effort into creating this. And we would prefer if you didn't share it with anyone. We want this to be between us. <sighs> It's so, special. Yeah, okay. we want it to be a one-on-one -on -one direct user experience. So if you could not tell your friends, family, or Custom your local Custom made for your store, heart. It's okay. exactly what we've done here. I'm going to go ahead and place down an item. I think I'm going to start with a basic wall. So I've got okay. two terrain sides here. One is sort of a bone pile mm -hmm. and bone pit. The other is more of a classic wall. Yep. And I've seen a lot of people that have actually replaced the terrain on this board with 3D, with 3D models. Oh, it looks so cool. It, it does look really cool. We don't have those, yeah. and that would make... The camera angles kind yeah, of difficult. Um, I'm happy with our cardboard. It's so a good see, cardboard, I've too. got from 12 over to place, correct? Yes, sir. Well, technically, you can choose whatever side, but for convenience sake, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting on my side. So I'm mm. going to place a wall, a bone pile wall, right there in the center. Okay, now, these well, walls block mm. view. They yep. also block movement. They block attack. So yep. they modify like you'd expect kind of a barrier to do. So another thing that's very important with placement, you cannot place adjacent to any other tile on you the board. You can't create like a whole pile of walls across because mm -hmm. then you could never get to each other. That'd be kind of a nuisance. You placed a pile of spikes, and on the yeah. back of this, we There's have- There's also lava. A lava field. Yeah. So spikes, essentially, if you ever either cross it or end up push into it, you're going to yep. get four damage. Not not the best. Yep. Okay, so let's see here. What what else am I going to play? I've got I've got the same components as you. Giant mm -hmm. lava, giant spikes. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. Ooh, so that's a really interesting one. So yes, that essentially is. gives you a new boon. So uh -huh. whenever you attack from that space specifically, you're going to get something that's called Bless. Yep. And Bless essentially lets you re-roll your die on special attacks. I also have that, but I'm not. I don't want to place it yet because no. I want to see how the field kind of how like it maps out. balances. So I think I'm gonna do. I placed mine for the viewers. I'm thinking of oh, them mm -hmm. above strategy. Yeah, you want to explain everything? Yeah, by I want to make sure mm -hmm. we show it all off. So if you're if you're placing that wall mm -hmm. there, I'm gonna go ahead and put a spike pit. Let's go right <sighs> over here. Wow, this is like really staggered. We're we're making it really tough to fight each other. That's kind of the point, isn't it? Uh, Maybe. We'll see. It depends on who you want to attack. I mean, I'm not going to put like a spike pit back here. We're never going to be there. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I want to push you into that. I'll put it right a... here. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. All right, great. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm planning areas I want to push you into. Just high kick you into a pile of spikes. No, I can see that. I can see that. You know what would be interesting? Uh -huh. What? You know what would be very interesting? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> like a tunnel? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Terrifying. Interesting. Okay. If you're doing that, I'm gonna come in here and mm. do uh, do a little bit of a barrier there. Interesting, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here, I think. No, right there. Okay. Yep. I've got one last piece that I can place. I guess I'll I guess I'll play it down here. I also have this area. Yeah, I kinda like this being like a battle zone though, without <laughs> spikes for me to have to worry about. So here's the cool Spikes suck, man. They do. <laughs> they they're they're pointy yeah. and hurt. Yeah. So let's see, so the last thing we're gonna do here is place our circle, hmm, our powerful field. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is a tough one. You could just make mirror, it like you right mirror here. mine. Yeah, literally just set and it just up against me. Just make it like anybody could grab it. That's kind of, I mean. That's a cool point of contention, I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do, well, but yours is like hidden behind that wall. What? <laughs> So you have a, you could have potentially have two people. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you move a little Whoa. bit to the back. Dramatic changes. What? Okay. okay. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, and I think I miss I miss said something. Probably. So bless doesn't affect special attacks. It affects primary attacks. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Your, your basic top attack. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Before we get into placing characters, we will have close-ups on every card and every character board as they first appear throughout mm -hmm. the course of the video. So you'll be able to reference this right now as I talk about it. Uh, let's look down here at Rurik the Warrior. This is a character that I have. His affinity is going to be tank. You can tell by the color of his player mm -hmm. card. And then he's going to have two gray abilities and two golden abilities. Those two gray and golden areas indicate primary attacks mm -hmm. and special attacks. Yep. Primary attacks are basically 
accessible almost at any point. Mm -hmm. Special attacks require certain situations and you to have your special ability ready token yep. available. It cycles every time you use it and resets after the next turn. And the most important thing is that when you use a special attack, it yeah. is out for the rest of the game. The next thing you want to reference is going to be these three little circles going down mm -hmm. the side. You can see that we have our hit points, which are 70, our basic attack, which is a sword, so that means we're a melee mm -hmm. character. We have eight defense, that's what you're gonna be rolling against to try to hit me, that gets modified by a variety of things. And then we also have six movement, that's mm -hmm. our base movement stats. Finally, we have a passive power. Every character has a unique, asymmetric passive ability. Yep. Uh, on mine, the trigger. Enemy starts its turn adjacent to you and the first target of its attack isn't you. Hmm. So if you're next to me, but not targeting me, my passive ability will trigger. What that then does, Enemy takes a minus two penalty to its first roll hmm. and four damage. Hmm. This cannot lower the HP below one. So they can't die because of this, but they can seriously get wounded. Mm -hmm. But it could be a situation where you taking out one of my characters and you're willing to pay that price. Um, so those are going to be our player cards. Every card is unique. So when we pull it up on screen, we'll be verbalizing and talking about it, but feel free to pause and look over it as much as you'd like so you get a sense of the game. Mm -hmm. Along with that, we also have spells or yep. scrolls, which are attached to each character. They're hidden from both of us, yep. so we'll reveal those as we play. And then finally, we each drafted a set of six total power worth of artifacts. Yep. So let's go ahead and go through what our different artifacts are. Okay. Um, you want to start over there with yours? Who are your characters and what artifacts do they have? So I have Cedric the Werewolf, Niari the Hunter, Rokaru the Samurai, and finally Thalia the Druid. So each of them kind of have an artifact, so I did my best to kind of distribute as best as I could. Okay. So Cedric here, he has a nice sword. Okay. So if you ever get too close to Cedric, instead of doing the typical reaction attack, that's essentially when a character mm -hmm. comes in too close during their movement, uh, I, instead of doing five, I'm gonna do 12 damage to you, oh. and your attack is, e uh, sorry, and your movement is immediately stopped so right there. So don't pass him. Don't get close Great. to Cedric, but Cedric is also a brawler, so that's not going to be easy. Great. Okay. Yeah. Next, we have Niari the Hunter, and Niari has a special ability, which is Chameleon. She has a mask of the Chameleon ability, which she uses to copy any ability of your primary from any of your characters. And I've already chosen, and I am taking Warcry from Rurik. Yeah, so, so Warcry war is going to allow you to target two squares away, eight damage plus effects. Those effects are going to be you're toughened once per turn, and your passive power includes enemies who start their turn within two squares of you. She's a kind of a squishy character, so I want to give her a little bit of a buffer there. So wow. I'm excited for that little ability. Next, with Rokaru, the, he actually sends the, has a sun orb, and that's a really interesting one. Every time you strike during a special attack, I can roll twice. So it's like I'm here every time I activate That's that. horrible. I know. And remember that he has a special ability, which you'll get to see soon, where he does multiple you special attacks Do you in a row. resolve twice, or do you do it twice? Do you, you resolve it twice, every time. <sighs> that's horrible. Like every time you strike, you, you do it for a special attack only. So primary attacks don't count for but this. But special attacks are terrifying. They are terrifying. And who's your last character? And here? finally, Thalia. Uh, she has a thunder staff. Okay. So basic attacks for Thalia now do 13, and they count both as melee and ranged. She used to have only six basic attack, and it was only ra uh, ranged. Not anymore. Great. Well, I feel like my team is under-equipped. Uh, <laughs> up here, I have Zafara. Uh, she is going to be sort of a spellcaster, mm -hmm. right? A controller. Yep. Uh, she has the crown of power. Uh, if you completely miss a special attack, all strikes, such attack is not spent. So, Okay, if, that's good. If I that's miss good. everything, I get to keep it and I get to do it again. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I've attached to Qatar, the barbarian, the lava axe. Felt thematically appropriate. Okay, I don't like that one. Your strikes are critical hits on rolls 17 or more instead of a crit 20. Oh, okay. no. Crit hits deal plus 8 damage instead of plus 5. Yeah, my god. Okay, that's, that's beautiful. horrible. And finally, down here on Rurik, I have the Dragon Shield. You are immune to residual damage. If your original defense sat is 6, gain plus 1 to defense. Which it isn't, so he oh, doesn't never get mind. plus 1. Never mind. This is going over to the <laughs> wizard. <laughs> Okay, makes sense. Important to read your cards before. Exactly. I'll be honest, I attached that to him because in his artwork, he has a beautiful shield that he's holding. And I thought so to myself, sense. 
let's make it a dragon shield. Yeah. Instead, it's going to be over here on Evelum <laughs> the wizard. The wizard is carrying the dragon shield. Uh, and so what else do we have here? So we also have our heroic actions. These are secret cards from each yep. other, but they're going to give us game-breaking abilities during any moment of the game. So yeah. this can change or tip the scales to our favor. We just have to be strategic when we use them. Yeah. I think it's time to place our overpowered characters. To roll and see who places mm -hmm. first. So. Ah! 12 and Oh, eight. come on. Okay, I place first. This is a bad omen, everyone. Speaking of that, I, I think we are gonna start mm. immediately on top of the blessing okay. here. Okay. Um, Why am I not surprised? We're just gonna place. Uh, we're just gonna place that down right there. So one important thing about placing characters in this PvP mode is, as soon as you place a character, that character becomes your first character that will start the turn. Right? It'll start the entire yeah. round. You're placing in the order you follow, and then mm -hmm. you always have to follow one, two, three, three and four. four. Yep. So with that being said, Cedric, okay, is coming into play. And wow, I made this very difficult on poor Cedric here. Um. Hmm. Do I wanna, maybe I wanna go right there? Okay. It's a very bold move, but we'll see if it pans out. Interesting. Maybe. I'm coming over here to Qatar the Barbarian, who has a really, really lovely ax. <laughs> uh, Upgraded as well. You know, and what might be fun is for him to just be right, right over there? here, mm. I think. Yeah, no, super fun. That's... Kind of guarding that hole just a little bit. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, I think so. Exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so now, Niari the Hunter comes in. Hmm. I wish... Uh, those walls are so well placed. It's kind of annoying. You know the funny thing? I bet when some other people play this game, they like start over here on the edge and everything. <laughs> and we're just like, let's crunch this into the tightest space let's possible. make it action packed. All right, Rurik the Warrior. <laughs> 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 Okay, Rurik, let's see what you can do, buddy. We're gonna pop in, we're gonna pop in right here. Just peeking around that corner. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Man, that's a, that's a bold move. That's a heck of a spot, isn't it? That's a, that's a bold, bold. Staring down a pit of spikes. Some very bold spaghetti there. Um, okay, so I think Oh man, it's so difficult to decide where I want to go. I'm gonna place Mr. Samurai right here. Hmm. I think. I'm not taking advantage of any of my walls, which is kind of weird, right? I should probably, maybe, place things close enough, but no, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, last placement on the board, and then who starts? Who actually does the first attack? You, because you place first. I lead first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's set this. We'll pop this right back here for mm -hmm. now, I think. And I'm actually going to follow something similar and place her right there. Okay. All right, top Ooh, of the round, okay. I'm going first. Oh, I Lord. have the crown of power. Let me go ahead and check what this scroll is just to mm. see if... See if it's something I need to utilize. So another really cool thing that I want to say that I'm super appreciative of, mm -hmm. our player mats have the same exact information that these cards have on them. Yeah. So instead of like squeezing over and trying to manage all the data in front of you, you can pull up a hand of cards, yep. figure out what you want to play, and then resolve it. It's a good way of marking things without additional components. So usually Absolutely. in these skirmish games, you have like little tokens that represent stunned or something. You just use the card. Yeah. I love that. Yep. So I am, I'm gonna start here with her, and it's gonna be based off of line of sight in terms of like where we can target and trigger, right? I've got movement of five with her, so I can move one, two, three, four. This would give me line of sight onto you, correct? Diagonally right Yeah, so here. the way that it works is that you get that little corner. If you can target one of my corners, you're okay. good. So from, from corner to corner, I can in fact see you. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of peeking around the wall there. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and play a ability called Purgatory. I'm using a special ability. I flip I this token uh, mm -hmm. eight squares away. I am easily within range. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what? Target one enemy. This will do 20 damage Jesus plus one effect. Christ. So go what ahead. am I rolling against here? You're rolling against six. Oh okay. my god. 
That, oh that's lord! Gonna be it. All right, twenty damage. Oh, so the damn. HP is tracked around the outside, which of I this love. Board. No, it's actually really nice. Um, yeah. So I was at sixty-five. So now I am at forty-five. Perfect. Ow. Uh, and effect permanent. An enemy within range is cursed. Oh wow! Once cursed. per turn, you're going to roll twice and take the worst result. Oh god, that really So uh, sucks. I don't get to use this card again because this no, is a special ability. Yeah. I'm just gonna hand this over to you because it'll indicate that you're- uh, your Oh wait, this there. is permanent? It's permanent, yeah. What? Once per turn. Oh my god, that's horrible. Holy cow. <laughs> I mean, I think it's really nice. Jesus. It's a lovely start. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so... You know, the most fun part of these videos for me is always watching Jan crumble around... And uh, squirm every time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. That kind of left me a little bit baffled. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and activate our guy. Mm -hmm. We're going to activate Death Claws. So, we're going to go ahead and move. He has a movement of six. Okay. So, that's one, two, three. Sorry, three right here. And he's gonna activate Death Claws. So that is a basic attack. Let's see if I even hit it before before everything. Roll twice. You're rolling against a six, <sighs> by the way. Six? Oh, by the way, was there any enemies within five spaces of my of you? You were back here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. There was. So despair. That that character is going to take four damage. Is it every enemy? No, it's one. And you're another, choosing her. Another enemy within five squares takes four damage. Because I'm just really mean. Okay, first 12, that's a hit. That so would. So now we would do the second one. Gosh darn it! Oh man, this sucks. So you miss. Oh. What's, what's your miss modifier? So it, it, it wasn't, it's a, it's a primary attack, so... There's miss no... all, the last missed target gets, uh, takes five residual damage. Okay, so I'm still taking five damage, but you mm. do not actually connect with me. Awesome. Oh, man. On to me? On to my turn? <laughs> yes. So this is cycling down. <sighs> Guitar the Barbarian. My poor, poor werewolf. Okay. I've got a movement of six that I can <sighs> spend, and I don't have a ton of range. Start barreling my way in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't remember. You also have as a primary action, you can move two times. Oh, so I could I could do my movement again. Mm-hmm. Because I I can't attack anyone. You won't be able to position. attack this turn, but you can do. Any that. other options that I could take other than moving twice? Yeah, so good question. Essentially what yep. you do is you either attack with any of the multiple types of attacks. Which is, it's either basic, primary, special, heroic, sure. or you move additionally. So okay. might as well just move. Yeah, I, I think I, I will take an additional move. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice mm -hmm. here. If a ranged character initiates a ranged attack mm -hmm. next to a melee, next to anybody, they suffer a reaction attack right there. And your blue here is ranged. So getting getting adjacent to you could be beneficial. Mm -hmm. And I also like butting up against that wall. So I will go ahead and move a second time and lock myself in right mm -hmm. next to you there. Yeah. That is a great pose. Just look at that swing coming down at your head. Great. Let's just Are take you done? That. Yeah. You're, you're I was just taking that in for a moment. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. just, 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 yep. just making sure. And this is going to cycle and flip. So my special is back in line. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's great, great stuff. Um... We're gonna go ahead and sidestep. So sidestepping is essentially being able to get instead away. Instead of me getting, if any of you play D&D, you'll hear key terms. Like instead of getting an attack of opportunity, you're sidestepping to get out of the way. How many movement? He's got six movement. Oh, uh, darn it. Uh-huh. <sighs> did, you, did you not think I'd count that? Of course, but still. I, I mean. I gave you the advice first off. So I, I don't know no, what no. you're like. What? No, he, he was able to get where I wanted him before you stepped to the side. You just made it a little easier. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, so we're gonna do Twin Shot. So that is actually a basic ability. Okay. Um, and as a trigger, hit a target from at least five squares away, which this guy is, Leave that's not gonna count. me alone. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're first, let's see, last target. So we're first targeting your orc guy, which is six defense, right? It is, yes. 
That's a 15. That is a hit. So that's a, that's a hit. What are you doing? I'm so... So that's just seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then now we're going to target your super strong dude over here with an eight. Gosh darn it, why? Oh, okay, but, but, he's exposed. So, whoever attacks him afterwards has minus three to his defense. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, his defense so would it was kind of It five. was planned a little bit, but still, that like, sucks. Is it my turn yet? Can I go? Any passive abilities there on uh, that first hit? Uh, I, I couldn't, because I, my first hit was to him. Yeah. And I also missed you, so no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Coming down here to Rurik the Warrior. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I want to change that. I want to change that, because I just remember that I have Chameleon. I'm going to activate Warcry instead. Let me see Warcry. Yeah, so I'm just instead of targeting him. You already rolled dice. Sure, but I'm going to re-roll. You already, no, you already rolled the no. dice. Let me... Once anyone that knows about dice rolls, once a dice is rolled, you can't retake it. Darn it. Because the odds have fine. already swayed. Fine, You're fine. welcome to rework anything before a dice roll, oh. my friend. Fine, fine, right. fine. Do All right. it. Just remember that for next time. Yeah, yeah I will. It's I a will. good ability. Yeah, you should probably pay attention yeah, to I it. I know, You yeah, should right? know what your characters can do. Yeah, yeah I should, I should. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's you know, mm -hmm. especially because yeah, you, you taught me the... You should go yeah. ahead. I, yeah. Well, I can. <laughs> I will. Six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there mm -hmm. in your face. Right there next to you. Let me check what this scroll does. So before you start, I'm going to activate... <clears throat> Actually, let me see something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and activate... Um, my magical power, uh -huh. it's called Amnesia. Okay. Start of enemy's turn, any enemy whose turn just started. Mm -hmm. um, the target takes eight damage immediately. <laughs> First off. Great. So your guy, where is he? He's all the way up oh here. Oh my god. Let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And the target can make any special attacks this turn. Can't make any special attacks? He cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw where you were going. I was like, no, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah, I I mean, I'm glad you saw where I was going. <laughs> um, I'm going to buy, let's, it, bro. Let's start up here with Crushing Blow, then. Okay. If I can't make a special attack, I will at least crush in your, your My elbow. windpipe or something? Your yeah. elbow, something. Uh, crushing Blow, one square away, one enemy, 11 damage plus mm -hmm. effects. Ooh. I'm locking this in by rolling the dice. Okay. Oh, gosh. that's enough. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Effects: the target is slowed. Uh, you may move the target up to two squares. Then they may move. Then you may move yourself up to two towards it. I hate this every time. So go ahead and let's give you eleven damage. So it's gonna be your girl right here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, sorry, I just like counting it down. Mm -hmm. Like, and then the nice thing about spikes. Mm is they do four damage upon entry. They also hug you, which is great. They I, hug around you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's so lovely. Someone's giving me some love today, I guess. One, oh, two. God. One, two, three, four. Now here's the cool thing. Mm -hmm. I get to move four spaces. Two spaces. Two spaces. Towards me. Towards you. And I just moved you down, so I get to back up a little bit. This is continuing over here. You know, I didn't even really want to spend that special ability, so thank you for preventing me from doing it. Sure. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, go ahead and your turn. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Samurai. He's gonna go mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. He's okay. gonna do right there, and he's gonna go ahead and attack you. You don't want to be in the tunnel with me? No, I don't think I do. All right. I don't want to be in the tunnel. So first of all, right now something interesting is happening. It's called Mobbed. You're already exposed, so mm -hmm. I don't think I can add to your already exposed mm -hmm. ability. Um, but if you, if I didn't do that to you, that's what it would have happened. Essentially, you're ganged up on all sides, so you don't, you don't get to defend as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing that. Okay. So I can't activate any of my special abilities. However, I'm going to try and activate Tide of Blades against your five. Yeah. Okay. It seems like you're getting a little scroll there. Uh, Ready to go. I've got one. I've got one in my hand. Are you gonna play it? Or? Uh, every scroll lets you know when you're allowed to play them. 
So it seems like it's after the attack has gone through, huh? Uh, every scroll just indicates a certain stage in the game oh, right. that uh -huh. allows you to or to not play them. Okay, well... You need to roll less than a five. I'm gonna roll higher than a five. Okay. 90! Oh. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usage. Oh, no. After an enemy's primary attack roll. This is called disrupt attack. Enemy making... The target is an enemy making a primary attack. Effect, one. The target attack deals hit damage only. No effects and no passive powers this turn. You're so lucky. Did you know what that did? I have no idea, but it I It would have pushed you into smites. I assumed it was oh, like something with man. spikes. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, so, okay. Still so 11 damage. Scrolls discarded, though. Yes. Okay. It's 11 damage. And it is 11 damage for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I do not move anywhere. No. Okay. Uh, but I did have to spend my special ability to play that scroll, yes. correct? All right. On to me. Mm. Down here with the wizard. So let's see here. I'm going to move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, you do. I do have line of sight. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember how you said, like, luring you in this direction would be a mm -hmm. convenient thing to do mm -hmm. by chance, per chance, maybe mm -hmm. haps? Okay. That uh, dog is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dead. There's so no way. this lets me do a basic attack mm -hmm. twice, right? Mm -hmm. Not a special one, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see which basic attack I want to target you with. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a arcane blast. Um, what this is going to do is I target a 3x3 three three area. Okay. So I can target from here, across, and up. It, it would be a zone of effect if there was more people, but okay. I'm really just using it against mm -hmm. you. Uh, 9 damage per hit, uh, plus I may move any number of targets one square each. So, let's start off with a single roll. Looking for 9 damage. What am I rolling against? What's your... 6. <laughs> Great. That'll be it. A tie hits. A yeah, tie hits. Tie, ties also hit. So nine damage oh, there for your puppy. Darn it. Go ahead and bring that down. Oh, man. And then I'm going to move you over into the spikes. Nine. Go ahead and give you yourself four. You can move four. me again? Yep. Go ahead and do four. Then I'm rolling a second time because I'm on that special zone. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. You choose the higher version of it. What do you, you mean? You roll two times and you pick the higher result. Oh, well, then let me see if I'm able to crit. Because yeah, crit sure, would be, sure, crit sure, would be sure. five additional damage. I'm it's not. No. Okay. <laughs> and it's good that you did that, just in case. I thought I'd be able to do the attack twice. <sighs> no, 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 no. That's not how that works. Good clarification. Would have been nice <sighs> if you taught me that earlier. Um, hey, sir. What? Hey, sir. What? You watch yourself. <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do now. Um, so, have you noticed that I have a healer on my team? Uh, I did see a green oblong shape. Yeah. Board, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she's great. She's very friendly. Uh huh. Loves to help. Oh, good. And she's Is in the mindset right now to my help character? puppies. Oh, not mine. No, 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 no. She's very kind to animals. She has a snake friend on my, her mini as well. Excuse me. My barbarian's nearly an animal. Well, <laughs> not in the actual sense. Yes, yes. I we could call it that. So I'm going to move her one space. Yep. Let's see, so I do think I have line of sight there, correct? No, you do not there. I don't? I don't think so there. No, no, you're right, you're right. So you I would move go here. One more. Yeah, so let's yeah. go here. Perfect spot for me and to chop And I'm just going to aim towards him and be like, puppy, come to my arms. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and activate Spring Seed. So I'm flipping my special ability, so no special ability next time. Mm -hmm. I do have to still hit him. So I really hope I don't miss this. You that will suck. should miss it. Woo! 19, baby! Let's just... Thank God. Let me see what my... So do you want to know what this does? Um... Sure. 32 HP buff. <laughs> plus, remove one permanent effect. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. So, say goodbye to your dumb curse state. Yeah. And we're gonna get 32 health. So we are back to 62... Plus two more. So hey, you've done a total of two damage to my Wolfie. Good effort. That was a special ability though, right? Yes, So it was. I have removed that ability from you. Maybe. Unless you have a scroll that brings it back. I don't know, do I? Oh no. It's your turn. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> uh-huh. I, I used to like this game. <laughs> there was a moment where I thought to myself, This is a great this game. This is a good game. Yeah, good but game. not anymore. You know what's fantastic, though? That my wolf is at basically full health again? I mean, more or less. One, oh, cool. two, three, four, five. Remember, if you do a ranged attack next to anybody, you get a All right. damage. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. You could have just done... I can't move beyond five. you. Five. That would be adjacent to you, and then you'd get a, a reaction. Oh, that's you true. See, that's what I was avoiding. Yeah. She has six oh, movements? Oh, no, she has five Aha! Movements. So five there. And you will get, you you will still get it. Now, do you get an attack of advantage if I move from here? Yes. So I can't even move from there, really. Correct. You need to sidestep out of the way. I need to punch you in the face. I'm going <laughs> to sidestep here. Oh. That's just one spot. Okay. 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 And I'm going to do Hungry Spirits. Uh, two enemies up to eight squares away. Okay. Uh, um, yes, yes. Both, both qualify. Okay. Uh, six damage per hit plus effect. So let's see here. I'm going to start with your wolf. Oh, I forgot something. Um, an ally within range may regain four HP, but it can't regain HP this turn. Um, hit a target on your first hit of your turn. I did hit my target, so I'm going to give her four HP. Okay. One, two, three, four. Sorry. So I'm, I'm targeting your green girl first. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. She, seven. seven. Oh, come on. That's, That's gonna a be, nine. It's going to be a nine. Mm. What uh, happens? Six damage per hit, plus the effect. You or an ally within range regains four HP, <sighs> applied once even if you hit multiple times. Uh, so six damage to her. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. But here's a benefit. Hit a target on your first attack for the turn. Another enemy within five squares of you will take four damage. So the wolf. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four. And then I am still targeting him. So I'm assuming you don't like my wolf, because you're very keen on taking him down. Hey! Uh, well, it's Summies! Welcome. To, now, how, how does that feel? Uh, it's not great, right? If my last miss target No, takes, it miss all. Uh, Everybody, every attack must miss in order for that to activate. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. It's it's not it's I, not very fun. At least I did some damage. You did some damage, yeah. Alright. I believe that is going to resolve my attack onto you, sir. Yeah, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go right. There seems unnecessary. You think? Mm -hmm. no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I think that's good. So let's go ahead and activate Moonlit Rage. So I can roll this two times. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's try it again just in mm -hmm. case. Oh. Okay. So that's a hit. Uh, it's gonna take 11 damage, and you are also exposed now. Mm, now on him. Yeah. But, okay. <laughs> Did you do 11 damage? You haven't done 11 I damage? I haven't. Do I have to? Yes. So, you're not currently adjacent to any of my allies. Who? You. You're your wolf, which is interesting. So let's just, uh... If you move from there... Oh, I'm not okay. moving. You're not moving. I'm just spinning mm. the model so he aesthetically, mm. uh, you know, aesthetically can, uh... So, so I just scratched your back. You didn't see me coming. You did. You yeah. went, yeah. Ah, and I went. I went, eh? Uh -huh. Really? You think it was like that? I, I imagined it very differently in my mind. Like a, yeah. like a blood-curdling growl come out of... <sighs> That's how, you know, it, it was pretty epic, I think. Uh-huh. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is activated now. I'm going to flip this over. Oh, gosh. We were doing a thing called Barbaric Rage. Oh, ow. That's uh, 26 of damage. And plus two to the roll. And remember my crit. Oh god, I really hope that doesn't happen. Remember my crits. So I'm looking for a 17 plus, and I will do a total of 30 damage to you. Wait, if 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 you get a crit? No. If I get a crit, I'll do 38 damage to you. I what? also have a passive ability that I am powerful against people who aren't adjacent to any of my allies. Hit a target. Oh, hit a target that isn't adjacent to any of your any of your allies. Oh, okay. You also take four it's additional damage. It's too late damage. for that. No, 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 no. It's it's too one, late two, for three, that. four. Oh, I should have pointed that out. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a critical miss! It's a critical miss! I can't believe it! <laughs> I'm sorry! I needed to celebrate that. That's oh god. So you lose barbaric rage. 
You take 15 damage. Yes, I do take residual damage. You are 100% Oh, correct. that sucks. Wow. That could have been such a good Yeah, that would hit. have been game-changing. Oh, well, yeah, actually. Okay, so we're at 60, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow. Jesus Christ. I, my heart stopped. All right, well, I'm going to do my slip action. I'm just going to pass here. So I can back up from you. Yeah, 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 you can because you yeah, can do that in any order. I didn't move. I'm just slipping back. Okay, so I'm starting with our friend here. Um, Man! So we're going to slip. I cannot believe that happened. We're going to slip right here. Mm -hmm. um, your guy's still mobbed, by the way. And I I'm, I'm activating Warcry this time. So Warcry is for what? Two squares away. Yep. One enemy. Eight mm -hmm. damage plus effects. Effects. You are toughened once per turn. Yep. That's permanent, right? Mm, no. It is a passive power. So yeah, so it's applied forever. It's a timer. It's got a timer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll. So I'm actually hitting you, since you're exposed, I'm hitting you for five again. Mm-hmm. What the Good. Oh! Good. I needed, no! him to, I needed him to miss. I still get my benefit, though. Okay, um, so, so what's the toughened modifier? Toughened essentially reduces three damage. Mm. From any uncommon uh, uncommon attack, mm. so pretty good. Mm -hmm. Also, I've I've strategically placed my guy so if you move your your dude, you're getting two reaction attacks. Mm -hmm. I see that. I do see that. And to the next guy. Uh, and I believe this goes back to you now, right? Yes, it does. Okay. I could have started. I could have done this, but I, I don't want to activate a range attack. Yeah, it's just the top of his turn. Mm -hmm. so That's actually why I picked. So I wouldn't get hit with those in case you did exactly this. That's why I picked Chameleon. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do another crushing blow. Ow. And we're gonna do that directly at your face again. <laughs> Sound good? Maybe, I don't Sound know. Sound good. It, does it? Nat 20 would be beautiful. Edit this part because two in a row. They're gonna think. They're gonna think we did. That. I might as well just redo it so that they don't no, think we. No. They'll think we faked. No. It. This is a true they'll game. Think, they'll think it was a skit. I also missed. At least, it, at least you don't get hit or something. Okay. I, do I still get the effect, the passive ability? I, th I think. So. Well, you know, yeah. I think. I think. So. No, I don't because it's it's. If hit, if you hit, you didn't get toughened either. Yeah, it's damage plus effect. You also didn't get the effect. Let me see. That's what it is. You are toughened once per turn. It's the damage plus effect. If you, oh. don't, if you don't hit, you don't get the Okay, buff. so I'm not toughened. It's good. You still missed me, so that's good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Hmm. We can do, we can do, cause some damage. I, I was having fun when your wolf was being attacked by many people. Yeah, I know. Isn't Wolfie... Wolfie's doing his best right now. Hmm. Hmm. Wolfie's doing... Wolfie's doing great. He's feeling much better. Thank you for worrying him mm -hmm. about him, though. I could activate that, or I could activate this. And just spread the love a little bit. Okay. We are activating... 10,000 Swords! So 10,000 Swords is a special <laughs> ability, so... This is flipping. Mm -hmm. um, and the ability that 10,000 Swords does is that I can target up to three enemies. Mm -hmm. So I can target an enemy two times with this. And every time I do a single attack against them, it's actually double. Mm -hmm. So I could potentially do 28 damage in a, to a single enemy this turn and 14 to another. And because I have the Sun Orb, every time I attack with each of those, I'm going to roll two times and use the higher result. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's a, it's a spicy meatball, for sure. Every time you strike during a special attack, roll twice and apply the best result. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and target your dude, your tank, first. So first attack. I'm gonna roll that again for a better uh, result. No, you're not. No, I do. No, every every single strike. No. Yeah. No. Every single you got strike. You one. I know. It's I'm every ripping. single strike, I get the best result. Can I, is this a legacy game? <laughs> no. It's not. No. So components don't get ripped. No, in half they don't. They don't the come. No, of... and they don't come back. You don't know. So you shouldn't rip it. 
Yay. Oh, I saw it tilt towards 50. one. So that's seven now. Now we're going to go for the next one. Yes. What? It's another one. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I actually did another four. Mm -hmm. That's a 16. That's a 15. Mm -hmm. So that's another, that's 14 now. Mm -hmm. That's 15. So that's another hit. Okay, pretty good. So a total of 21 damage. Go ahead. Oh. Um, and because I'm doing a special movement, I don't get I don't get um. What do you call it? Um. I don't get hit with re with retaliation attack. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, and now I'm gonna attack your beast guy. Wait, you just did three against him. How do you attack my? Beast I did guy two well? attacks against him because every time I attack, I do it twice. Because it's three different enemies. So now we're going against Barbarian. Barbarian has six. So that's 14. Ooh, almost. That's a 20. So that's one attack. That's seven. That's not a good one. Oh, come on. I missed. My second attack missed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so that's a really powerful ability. Oh um, but I did miss. I did miss my second attack against the orc. I don't I don't I still don't quite understand how you uh, you attacked so everyone basically, like 17 so, times. So in the rules it says that you can target up to 3 enemies. Mm -hmm. And in the explanation of up to 3 enemies, it says that you can target one, two or three enemies in that action. So it's like essentially you okay. have three separate attacks and in this particular case each attack deals seven damage. It deals two damage, two diff separate attacks in one attack. Yeah. And each one deals seven. <laughs> it's just a disgusting chain of events. It is very crazy. So what was the result? So we did a total of 21 damage uh -huh. against... So what is he? He's like a warrior or something? He's like a, he's kind of dwarfish, but he's, he's sort of like human-dwarf hybrid. Okay, so he took 21 damage. Uh-huh. And then our orc guy, he got seven damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About that? Yeah, that is was... Is it my uh, turn? Yes, yes, is it, it is. It was that was an intense chain of events. So it's I've cool. got my spellcaster. You do have your spellcaster. I just want to see what I might be able to do. Okay. Great. We're gonna move. What's my total movement? Five. One, two, three, four. I believe that is enough clearance. Oh man, I, everybody's a target here. Everyone could be. Oh, man. We're doing a special ability. Mm -hmm. Cycling this over. We're doing Shockwave. Oh, no. Up to spikes. Up to two enemies. Spike time. 16 damage per hit plus the effect. Oh, that sucks. And I think I want to target... You know... Oh, I would love to target your, your green girl over there. Because she is going to be really annoying. But I don't think I'm going to target her. I'm going to target your... Samurai mm -hmm. to start with, because he's got the most health right now. Mm -hmm. Let's bring him down a notch. <laughs> what, what is going on? <laughs> no, Jesse, come back down. <laughs> what is going on? So I've returned with uh, with some other dice. <laughs> Okay? I miss your samurai. <laughs> you did. You know, the one complaint, the one review that I have of this, the one complaint I have <laughs> is the weighted dice that just happened to be weighted against oh. me. It's weird. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Uh, he has four less damage. One, two, three, four, because tactics hit a target that is adjacent to at least one of your allies on your first hit. Target takes four damage. He's not adjacent. No, this guy was. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. Wow, Jesse. That is abnormal. I completely vote for you to change dice. Yes. Go. So who are you targeting now? I have some beautiful sparkle <laughs> glitter dice from <laughs> Gatekeeper Games Dice. Uh, let's see if these can perform slightly better. Oh, my God. I'm going to target insane. your blue girl here. Blue girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> this is crazy. What is? 
Are you okay? No. Did you do something to someone? Is this karma? The last miss target takes 15 residual damage. Oh God. That's my second special ability I've wasted. <laughs> like the most powerful abilities in the game. That's my second special ability that's been completely oh, wasted. Oh Lord. Lord almighty. Jesus. Okay. That's crazy, man. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so we don't need this dice <laughs> either, apparently. So I'm gonna start by moving Dahlia first. I hate the fact that you have a healer too. Yeah. I so really need to deal with her. I'm gonna do one mm -hmm. there. Oh, Actually, and you're in the zone. I'm gonna do that. Yes. I'm gonna activate Nymph's Kiss. So Nymph's Kiss is going to target our friend over here. Actually, should I? Yeah, this is gonna, no. Hmm, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and target. So he's gonna target him, and we're gonna roll. So we're rolling for a total of eight. Leave my mm. dwarf, man. Leave Rurik alone. Hmm. Please? Mm. Maybe? Would you? Oh, whoa, okay, sorry. Jesus Christ, okay, well that works. So that's a nine. Oh, no, that's a six. Minus three, because he's, no, he's not, ex is he exposed? Oh, I'm on top of the thing, I can roll again. Right, 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 that's what I was thinking of. Yay, okay, so that's six damage for him. Mm -hmm. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's first, and now we are going to heal someone. I so bet you are. it's going to do two things. First, hit a target on your first hit on your turn, which we did. An ally within range may gain four HP, but it can't regain HP again this turn. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's gonna gain four, dam four for healing. So one, two, three, four. And now she's going to get seven healing. Um, so one ally in range, seven healing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there with the orc. And she's also getting blessed mm -hmm. and hastened. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's it. And this is gonna go right on top of her. So just to refresh, um, hastened is a new ability that we haven't talked about yet. And hastened essentially lets you move without inciting reaction attacks. So mm -hmm. that's actually really convenient for her. And Blessed is essentially for primary attacks, I can roll two times and get the be better result. And that's it. Okay, I'm, I'm up here with my spellcaster. This has, uh, this has not gone well so far. My god, I cannot believe that you have rolled like five ones in a row. That something is wrong with the world. It's like, are you sure you didn't do something to someone? Like a mean thing and it's just karma or something? Okay, I believe you. But it's, it is it is highly great. <laughs> we're gonna sorry. go we're gonna go ahead and do dark light. I will need to move a little bit to have range for this, so I'll okay. move forward. Dark light, eight squares away, one enemy. We are targeting your green girl. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Hey. Perfect. Uh, Eleven damage plus the effect. Uh oh. What's the effect? The effect. The target takes plus three damage if it has no special attacks. Do you have any special no, attacks? No, I do. Left? I still have one more. Okay. Left. Two, the target can't make special attacks and ignores all helpful conditions on it. This Ooh. lasts for one turn. Okay. Temporary uh, ends at the start of my next, next start of my, my next turn. So, and then mm -hmm. I did hit a target. Uh, another enemy within five squares is going to take four damage because you're falling into despair. Oh, I don't like that. One. I'm gonna go ahead and push your blue girl down five or four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to activate a new spell. And that's the name of that spell is Earthquake. I believe this goes back oh, to you Oh, this now. does come back to okay. me. So we're gonna activate Earthquake. At the start of my, uh, uh, at the start of your turn or an ally's turn, um, I can target all enemies with this. The targets take three damage each, and you may move them up to two squares each. So, mm. everyone's getting spike damage. So, one. Do you have to roll it all? Nope. It's a special ability. Two. One. Two. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do one, two, two, and one, two. So everybody is getting seven damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I did it. And those two? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we start our turn. What do you mean now you start your turn? 
That doesn't take a primary action, that's just a spell. So now I actually do things. What was that that you did? It's it was a, a scroll? Yeah, that was a scroll. Holy crap! <laughs> what scrolls did you get? <laughs> Apparently some great ones. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do one, two, three, and four. Right over here. Yeah, four. We're going to do this one. So we're going to activate, how much do you have left? 13? Mm -hmm. No, we're going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, we're doing Death Claws. So this might be the end of your guy. I'm, I'll probably miss. Um, oh, I have, that's a space of two. Maybe I just want to go here instead. Yeah. So I'm going to activate Death Claws. Benefit if I have 35 or less. I don't have 35 or less, so I don't mm -hmm. get that benefit. I'm just going to hit with 12. However, he does have a special ability, Brutality, same as your guy. So if he hits, it's going to be a total of 16. Okay. So he has a total of eight defense this time. Mm-hmm. Miss. Oh, man. Miss. No. Oh, great. Darn it. That sucks. Uh, yeah, darn it. Okay, that's... Okay. Uh, you do take five. The last missed target takes five to residual damage. So at least there's that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Darn. That sucks. I should have gone for expose. I thought I could hit you with that. So I am going to do this ability oh, God. with Mr. Barbarian. Oh, no. One, two, three. We're just going to move back there. We are whirlwind. Whirlwind. Whirlwinding? Yeah, there we go. Whirlwind. Okay, what, what's going to happen in Whirlwind? I think you're going to hit a lot of people? Uh, no, I don't have to. I can target up to two enemies, but I can also target the same enemy twice. Oh. Uh, I could move around the board hitting one each time. I kind mm -hmm. of pass them. Instead, I'm going to target you with a potential damage of like 40-something. What? Yeah. Impossible. If I'm able to hit you every single time. So let's start. Wait, 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 but show me the thing. Where's Whirlwind? It's right here. 18 per hit, plus my modifiers, like the fact that I can crit, oh. and the fact that the per first person I hit is going to take an additional four damage. Up to two enemies, so you can target her twice with a, oh I my certainly god. Can. So she has a total of, oh, that's a miss, okay. Um, I get to takes... re-roll it, I get to re-roll it. I'm on this thing. I get two. Yes! Okay, that's one hit. Oh, All right, that's 18 plus four, but that's not a crit. So that's 22 damage to start with. Oh, no, oh, no it's not. It's okay. 22 yep. damage. 22 okay. damage to start with. Second attack. Ooh, okay. You get to re-roll it. I know, I know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! How am I missing these oh things? Oh, my God. Thank the Lord. Jesus Christ. Okay, so 29... It was 22? 22 damage total. Okay, so I was here. One, two, there we go. Oh my God. She no. should have been dead. She he should have been dead. She 100% should have he been He should have been dead. dead. I'm just, I'm just oh. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for our our elf here. Yeah. Um. So let's see what our elf wants to do. So he has eight health left. So we're gonna go ahead and activate her special ability. Mm -hmm. Remember, she has hastened as well. But okay. I'm actually going to... Oh, man, I don't. I can't focus e either way. So focusing is essentially an, uh, an ability I can activate that makes her stronger and makes everybody that she targets exposed. Okay. But the only way that works is if no one is around three spaces from her. So I'm going to go ahead and activate rapid fire. Um, so I have... Oh, that's only for basic attacks. Don't want to change that then. The, Oh, was that only for, is this area only for basic attacks? Primary. So it, it's worked with my special attack? No, it, it didn't. Wouldn't have. No, it wouldn't have. You missed both attacks technically. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, it's true. I will, you've had really bad luck this game. No, take it back. No, that's not, no, 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 you're do gonna, the entire attack again then. No, you're gonna do... It's gonna do 15 residual damage. So instead, are of, you sure? Yeah, instead of the 22, it's gonna do 15. Okay. I cannot believe 
how horrible my rolls have been. Yeah, this is like KDM level. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so we're actually going to activate Explosive Arrow to take advantage of that blessed ability. Um, so Explosive Arrow is eight squares away. I target one enemy. I'm gonna gain a bonus of two to my roll and ignore all helpful conditions on the target. And I do tw uh, 12 damage. And you may move the target one square. So he's at seven. So yeah, this is essentially me just really hoping to knock you out is, okay. is what I'm going for here. Um, so let's see, I can roll this two times because it's a primary. That's three. It's a miss. Yeah, so he's currently, we're targeting him at six. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> it's a D20. So that's plus five. Your guy's dead. He's right there. He's out. But you do get to draw two more scrolls. Mm -hmm. However, you can only have a maximum of three. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and move her. Um, one, two, three, four. We'll move her there. My, uh... I guess my token's gonna cycle down, right? Because Rurik's dead. No, yes, it, it activates the whoever's after. So, uh, my wizard's going. Can you tell how much fun I'm having? <laughs> <laughs> it's been very unfortunate. I don't understand what's going on. Is it in the, uh, the tone of my voice, perchance? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. We're gonna do a arcane blast. This targets a three by three grid. Okay. Three by three grid. Oh, so you and the the red and green girl. Is it hitting all combatants? Your yeah. guy is also getting hit. No, it doesn't have to be. My guy doesn't have to connect to it. I can target the three by three right here. I choose the center of it. Oh, that's so three true. three by three. Oh, smart. Okay. Your girl and your wolf. Mm. We're going to start with your girl. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you want to change to the other die now, or...? We will uh, <laughs> we'll now target your wolf. <laughs> oh! Okay. It's better than hey. it's better than it was. Okay, so that's fourteen damage. Uh, and you can move damage, him one space. And I can move him one space. Okay, so we'll push him back here. One, two, three, four. <sighs> hey! -o. Well, there we go. Hey, maybe that's a that's a sign that it's gonna get better, mm. right? No. Oh, um, you should move outside from that. I will do that. Yeah, yeah. I will move out of these spikes. <laughs> <laughs> I will move behind the wall. So we are going to do one, two, three, four. And we are activating our special ability. Okay. Dragon Spirit. So Dragon Spirit, oh, add to two squares away. I will actually do that. Two squares away. Um, so Dragon Spirit, two squares away. Uh, if I hit you, it's 25 damage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good thing you're gonna miss. I have my special sun, of, sun orb, which mm -hmm. I can re-roll two times. Here we go, and... Mm. It was a two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 25 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <sighs> eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and it hits a target that is adjacent to at least one of your allies, plus four damage. One, two, three, four. He's dead as well. You can get four more cards. Now, so so this ability essentially nullifies the tactician, but it's after, in, ter in the terms of C, in, ah, in the turn sequence, in a taxi, <laughs> why are you making those faces? <laughs> Don't make those faces, Jesse. Okay, so there we go. So that's two, two, two dudes down. Okay. Okay, so <sighs> you you picked your things? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna picked. go ahead and cycle this and you get this card back. I picked my scrolls. Well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. This is insane. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going to play Revenge of the Dead, which is a one-time ability. <gasps> no! You revive someone? 
Can target one dead ally. Oh no! Wait, you need to be close enough though, right? Eight squares. I'm within eight squares of my barbarian guy, or one, this guy two, here. Three. Oh, okay. <coughs> We're reviving him. Revive the target and place it within five squares of you with five with 25 HP and one of its special attacks. Such attack will be available even if they've spent it or removed it. So five squares away. Oh man. 25. So I'll set him right here. Five squares away from you? It can be within five squares. Interesting. So it's like she's it's a zombie. He's a zombie now. Yep. Cool. Um I do have to roll though, so I guess I have to be able to connect with this. Yes, target. you do. You'll get it. There you go, see? Okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Remember, you want to move with her before you end your turn. Yeah, because oh, you'll get hit with spikes. Time. Yeah, I got a so I'm Yeah, we'll end movement there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he gets one of his special abilities back, so. Okay, so that's it for her, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I wasn't expecting you to have revival spells. That's really good. Ugh. Okay. So let's see. This has not gone well for me. Mm -mm. And if you have a guy all the way, basically no damage taken. Mm hmm. So do we. Mm. No, you don't have line of sight to him. No. So I'm going to go ahead and move her one. Now I do have line of sight. And I'm going to activate, yeah, Shield of Flowers. So since I'm still on the thing, I'm gonna be able to reroll Tice. It's gonna do 10 damage. Um, and essentially, he's going to be immune to attacks. <laughs> what? I gotta protect my guys, man. <laughs> it doesn't do anything with a crit though, right? Yes, it does. What's the it... modifier with the crit? <laughs> Five more? So it's 15 damage? To who? <laughs> to Barbarian. I just got him back. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. You can't kill him before I use him. <laughs> he's alive, he's alive. Um, hit a target on your first hit of your turn, and ally within range may regain 4 HP. So he also gains 4 HP. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and he's going to get this ability now. So he is protected with a shield of flowers. Hmm. Okay, it's my Barbarian's turn. <laughs> I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh no. I, I'm gonna try to kill your healer. No. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't have my special super powered ability, which is uh, Whirlwind? Disappointing. I, I don't have, I can't activate it. Oh, because you used it last turn. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I'll do a mighty strike at you. One 14. square, one enemy, looking for 14 damage. I could target, like I could specify target on it, but I'm not. That's a hit. Okay, 14 damage coming your way, plus four more. 18 damage coming her way. Oh, it's, damn. Okay, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! I can do that, or I can just activate this. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. I want Moonlight Rage. Okay, so Moonlit Rage. Oh, mate, wait, I kinda wanna. Oh man, I can't, I can't activate my ability and also be on the thing. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we're just gonna hope that this hits. So he's attacking, he's, oh, so he's mobbed right now. Mm. So he's exposed. Mm -hmm. So it's going against three. That's a hit, um, and he dies. You can go ahead and draw two more squirrels. I don't need them. <laughs> okay, um, and Wolfie here is gonna go ahead and move one, two, three, no, two, right there. Okay. On to me, wizard. I've got to at least kill your green girl because she deserves to die. <laughs> no, she's so nice! Um... Got five that I can move, and he is ranged. So one, two, three, four. That will, in fact, give me a clean line of sight onto her. And he is ranged. So let's do some damage. Aww. Um, Let's do a magic missile. Mm -hmm. uh, eight. This is going to target you. 
For uh, 10 damage? Ignore all harmful conditions on me. I don't currently have any harmful conditions. 10 damage plus the mm. effect. Uh, two, en- two other enemies within range will take 3 damage each. So. Oh, that she's out. Hit. She's out. I feel no. I feel satisfied. I take two scrolls. That she's dead. I keep now, both of them. He's in range, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he's one out. One, two, three, four, seven. All right, I'm moving one space farther, so that both of them, so that he's in range and he can be targeted. So they're both taking three extra damage. So. Oh, I think she two, drops three? her skull or her scroll because she had it on her. I don't know anything about that. And. Uh, I guess. Where's your, where's your um, werewolf boy? He's gonna take three damage as well. Okay. One, two, three. So they died. She's gonna, she's gonna go, and we're activating our one of our heroic actions. Mm. Heroic magic. She is revived. Are you kidding me? With ten health. Who did you no- have that could revive her? No, oh, it's her heroic, heroic yeah. ability. Mm-hmm. So an enemy takes ten damage. So that's first. Um, and we are going to target this guy here. So he's at 48. Let's put you down to 38. And then choose one. Revive an ally and place it within five squares of you with 10 HP, but I have no special abilities. And this card is now out of the game. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Targeting your wolf. Mm. And I'm targeting your ninja. Oh, Hungry oh. spirits. Oh, again. Hungry spirits. Six damage per hit plus effect. So, aim at your wolf first. That's a miss. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'll aim at your ninja now. (laughs) I'll let you re-roll that one. The last miss target. (laughs) Go ahead and re-roll it. Minus five. You can re-roll it. I gave him the shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesse. <laughs> um, okay, so we're activating our ninja. And we're gonna do one, two. We're gonna go from right there and we're gonna activate Ancestral Katana. So you can use your passive, but on your first hit of your turn, a combatant within eight squares of you takes four damage or regains four HP. Within 840, okay. So we're gonna activate Ancestral Katana. I'm targeting your lady, uh, Safara. Uh-huh. Ooh. That's a miss. That That's a miss. Yes, correct. Darn it. And it's only on my first hit, so I don't get to... It know, wouldn't be next, yeah. Uh, I do. You do get five residual damage. So I still take five damage? Mm-hmm. That's it, though. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. Oh. Sorry, Kokaru. On to uh, my wizard. You know, the nice thing about having a few of the fluff characters out of the game is you get to the people that matter. <laughs> fluff? So, so quickly. Those two are your fluff? You get, you know, you get to the people that count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So what I are am your spending... heroic actions? Oh, you're, you're activating it right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sorry you're not. Tactical mistake. An enemy declaring a heroic action. One enemy declaring a heroic action. The target takes 12 damage. So he he takes 12 damage now. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) I want to (laughs) win. One, two. Um, And this can't lower its HP below one. So there you go. Is that it? I just take 12 damage? No, no, no. I think I activated the wrong one. Give me a second. Let me check. Because I thought I had something else. No, that is all. That is all. There you go. So 12 damage. Do I still do my heroic action? Yes. Great, because it's going to be super helpful now. <laughs> you are an ally who regains 18 HP. And oh. you're immune to damage. Oh, that For sucks. a turn. So You and an ally? You or an oh, ally. Oh, or an ally. So I will go ahead and give... I will give... Him immunity to damage and 18 HP, please, which really means <laughs> he lost or he gained six. six. Six health, yeah. One, two, three, four. How much was it? He was gonna gain six. 
No, 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 but okay, so six from total. here. Okay, okay. Total. so one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Okay, yeah. Good turn. <laughs> you can still move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not gonna move. I'll take that as a no. Okay. Um, who is weak? <sighs> okay, your green girls. She's back alive. Yes, she is. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Yep. And we are targeting our Wolfie mm -hmm. with Nymphus Kiss. Um, you were one out. Okay. Oh, so I have to target an enemy actually in order to activate this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Can I target her? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting to be able to hit you. No, that's actually kind of shocking. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and target him instead. Um, so we're gonna attack. He has how much? His defense mm -hmm. is seven. Okay, so let's see if we land Nymphus Kiss or not. Oh, good, oh. good. That sucks. Okay, well, sorry. That's, uh, you do take five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's, that's about it. Okay. Hey, have we been taking my residual damage at any point when you've been missing your attacks? Mm-hmm. We have? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've caught it. <laughs> okay, just uh -huh. in case. So I'm down to her basic action again. Yes. Because this is gonna refresh. She's gonna do her basic action, um, Hungry Spirits again, I think. Let's me hit both of you. No, I'm gonna do more targeted. I'm gonna do Dark Light. Okay. Dark Light is going to target your wolf here. Okay. 11 damage plus Ow. effects. Let's go ahead and do that. Seven. Yeah, that's a hit. That is a hit. Mm -hmm. So 11 damage plus the fact that you're taking another enemy uh, within five spaces of me is taking four damage. So your samurai will take four. You're taking 11. And then the target takes plus three damage if it has no special attacks. Do you have any special attacks left? You still have some? I never use one with him. Yeah. The target cannot make special attacks and ignores helpful oh, conditions. Darn it. That's exactly what I was gonna do this turn. Good. Shoot. At least that works. Yep, we're gonna do this. One, two, three. And we are activating another heroic ability. Mm -hmm. He's gonna gain 18 health. 21. 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now he is immune to damage. Completely. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by doing a magic missile. We're going to keep targeting your puppy dog. He's immune to damage. Then we're going to target your ninja. <laughs> uh, um, you do not have line of sight to the ninja if you stay there. That's why I put the puppy there. Because you're blocking it? Yep. His body is a shield right now. So then I can slip here. Yes, but then, oh, you can shoot beyond, yeah, yep. you can shoot through. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I guess this one right, I've no, got... but then it passes through me. No, I don't think you have line of sight. From there. this far one, I definitely have line of sight. But you pass through my square too, see? You, you pass right there, right? Not from the farthest one. If the farthest one to the middle. Okay, yeah, 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 that makes perfect sense. Yep, that's that's totally valid. Go ahead. I have line of sight. Then. Yes. Eight. That's Eight a hit. hits. It's not a crit though, which is what I would have liked. <laughs> Defense is seven, so you were super close. Well, how much damage? 10 damage. 10? Okay. Two other damages, two other enemies within range take three damage, your wolf is immune. And uh, nobody's within three. I'm gonna go ahead and move. One, two, three. And we're gonna do twin shot. Um, man, if how much movement do you have? Five, three was here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna activate twin shot. Um, right here, actually, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna activate twin shot. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and roll. She's attacking your woman and she's gonna attack her two times in a row. Mm -hmm. So seven damage per hit, and at the end, she remains exposed. So first attack. Only this guy should not be standing up. He's dead. 
Okay, so I'm choosing the better of the two results. I got a d20 on that one. <laughs> so uh, that's 12 damage plus... That's a hit. Okay. So a total of 19 damage on that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is she? Uh, one, two, okay, so it's 43, 33, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And she is now exposed. Here we go. We're gonna use Hungry Spirits. And if you fire next to me, you get a reaction attack. I could slip. Yes, you have to. We're gonna slip. <laughs> then I'm going to use Hungry Spirits. Okay. To target your ninja. Okay. Both times? Yeah. Okay. Six per hit plus the effect. First hit is a 12. Yes. Second hit is a five. You missed the second one. I'm sure I do. <laughs> the effect, you are an ally within range, games four HP. Go ahead and give me four HP, please. Okay. And six damage? Plus. One, two, three, four. Uh, your blue girl will take four damage because of my ability. Which is? Despair? If I, yeah, so she's doing despair. So blue girl loses four. One, two, three, four. And your ninja loses six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my ninja does not have any more special abilities. Mm -hmm. We're going to activate this. So first we're moving one, two, no, one, two, there. Um, and we're activating Tide of Blades. So this is just a basic attack. We're not getting anything special out of this. Um, so he's, I need to hit with what? With six, six or more? Hopefully. On the wizard or on the- Oh, on the, on, the, on the lady. Yeah, six. That's a hit. 10. So I do 11 damage to her. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, plus, I'm going to go ahead and do four additional damage to her. Is it any combatant? Or I can heal four to anybody. I'm gonna heal four health to her. One, two, three, four. Plus, you move the target up to two squares. Oh, stop. Minus four. One, two, three, four. And then all enemies now adjacent to the target take three damage each. One, two, three. That is my turn. All right. Do you have any permanent abilities, effects right now? Permanent effects. Which which one effect is permanent? This one. Um, you can <coughs> use your passive. On your first hit of your turn, combatant within eight squares of you takes four damage or regains four HP. Okay. I'm doing a heroic ability. Okay. I'm transferring that passive to my character. Okay. So give it to me. Great. And now I'm activating this. The target regains one removed permanent effect. Hmm? <laughs> I'm activating a scroll. Did you Anytime, have the magic to do that? Yeah. Anytime, including after an attack roll, any combatant, the target regains one spent heroic action or one removed permanent effect. What's the exact term? Target one permanent effect from a combatant to another. A combatant regains Transfer. I'm no, I don't think I don't You're think not, it applies. I'm not removing. I'm transferring. Yeah, I don't think it applies. Whatever the case, the real point of this is you're <laughs> taking 16 damage. How? That's the other part of this ability. Oh, it's two things. Mm -hmm. Effect one, effect two. 16 damage to, to who? To whoever I targeted. So it would be your ninja die. Oh, okay. 36. So he's now at 20. So 36, 20. Okay. Oh, ninja. And that's my turn. So I don't, I still have my magic here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move her. So one, two, oh, I can do, oh, I can target anything. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man, I wish. I can only do that. Okay, so I'm activating Shield of Flowers to, yeah. So I'm targeting him eight, so eight squares or more away. Um, I, I'm hitting with what? With six? Seven. Seven, why is that? Oh, damn, that's really high. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Yes. Over? No, yes. no passive? Nothing. All right. On to my top girl's turn. Oh, you take five res residual. 
hit he does. One, two, three, four, five. This is returning to you, I believe. Right? Or does it return when your girl it's, goes It's again? my turn. When you go again? Yeah, or it's when uh, I... Nayari's next turn. Nayari's next turn. So okay. that is still applied. I'm going to move down to here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Hungry Spirits again. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you may target two targets or one target twice. And I'm going to target your samurai. Remember, Wolf Guy has defense. Targeting your samurai. Mm-hmm. Okay. First strike, Ugh. 10. That That's will a be hit. a hit. Second strike, 13. Two that hits. is also a hit. 12 plus 4, so 16 damage. Mm-hmm. My blue guy is going to regain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 16 damage, yep. right? Blue guy's regaining 4. Blue guy's regaining 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This flips. This drops. This goes back. All right, your turn. Yeah, so we're gonna activate Bloodthirsty. If I would have gone for your for your lady and killed her, but I can't because okay. he would do me uh, uh, reaction damage. Great. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm, I am going to take that. I will be taking that. Okay, we're doing counter spell. Interrupt made during the target's turn. You're my target. Eight squares away. One enemy making an attack. You have special? I did. I flipped it just now. Mm. Draw back. Take 10 damage before striking. This can't lower your HP below 1. 33, 23. Uh-huh. Okay. Effect. Negate the target's attack. Uh, 2 permanent. You're hastened. Um, I need to roll to see if I hit you, though. Mm-hmm. What's your... Well, first of all, let's go ahead. Did you do that, like, before... I, did I think that, that's that made interrupts. during the target's turn. Okay, so negate the target's attack. One enemy making an attack. That's during your attack. I haven't attacked yet. Well, you you said you were playing Bloodthirsty. I, I needed to move, so then my question is, do I want to move here first? Oh, well, then I guess you technically would. I just... Negate the target's attack, yeah. I overplayed my hand, so you would have moved there yeah, first. Yeah, I, 100%. But so what I mean with that is that I also got hit with um, with a reaction. Okay, well, let's I do wanted that. To move How's there. the reaction go? So reaction attacks are super simple. Essentially, you'll roll. Um, you need to meet my defense, mm-hmm. and if you do... I lose one movement and also do up to, you'll do six, oh, up eight to damage. Eight. Wow, yeah, that's a see. lot. That's a success. That's a hit. Okay, so, so that's eight damage. Eight damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then six. I'm doing my counter spell. Yes. Um, if I hit you, it cancels your attack. Correct. If I miss you, you take 15 damage. That's uh, a hit. That is a hit? Yep. Okay, your, ca- your attack is zeroed out. Also, I'm... Because of the way that I positioned myself, I'm exposed right now. Mm-hmm. So I have minus three. Odds were worse, yeah. Yeah. Still, blood, bloodthirsty, whatever that card does. It gets negated, so it doesn't gone. even activate. Gone. My turn? Well, it's not gone. It's just I won't get to activate it this turn. Now, so, was oops. that my turn, or was that just a in-between turn? It's an in-between. Okay, so now it's my turn again. Well, I th- she, th- she goes now, right? Well, he just played his special ability, but it was his turn. I think you get to go. Okay. I'm not quite sure how that works. Because it's an interrupt action. It happened outside yeah. of your turn. It's an interrupt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's try this out. So I'm going to do a Arcane Blast. And I believe I have access to them now. Because you moved out of the way. So from With my edge, I can clean. There. Yes. Yep. So we're doing a 3x3 three three grid there. Mm-hmm. Which will hit both of them. I'm going to start by targeting the blue girl. Five. That's a f- miss. That's a miss. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'm gonna target uh, the green. That's 11. a hit. That's a hit. That's gonna do nine damage. Plus, I can move you one space. No. Thirteen damage. Zeroed out. <sighs> off the board. Darn. Uh, and then, if I hit a target from at least five squares away on the first hit, I missed the first one. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be the end Ow. of my turn. Wow. That sucked. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Mm-hmm. And I'm activating Perfect Hunt. So Is that that straight line one you did earlier? Yeah. Yeah. So Perfect Hunt essentially is going to target all enemies in a straight line. 
And it's going to do 17 damage per hit if it hits. Oh, no. Um, so first of all, she gets the benefit of moving four squares. So she still has her movement after this. So that's one, two, three, four. And now comes the big roll. Um, so let's see. Man, I wish I had that samurai. None of your guys are exposed. Is anybody exposed right now? Do you have any? Oh, she's exposed. She is, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So... Although, isn't it your turn? So that card would come back to you. Oh, that's true. She was exposed because of you. Darn it. First hit of your turn. Take Target takes four damage. One, two, three, four. No. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it. So first, we're targeting your blue guy. Mm-hmm. He has how, how much? Six? He has seven. Seven defense. I always forget. <laughs> So that's 22 damage. Um, so that's 23, 13, 3, 1, 2. He has one health left. Um, he is slowed, so he can't move at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and now we're targeting her. And she has six defense. Let's see if I hit her. Oh, man. Darn it. That's who I wanted to hit. Ah, okay, so that's out. So I'm gonna go ahead and then, as a movement action, right, I'm gonna move her right here to mm -hmm. see if I can protect my samurai for a little bit before he's completely dead. Man, I, I'm so close to dead at this point that I don't think you have that much to worry about. Well, we're not that far off. Uh... Yeah, but this is, that's a big difference. Like, if I'd been able to get a few of my big mm. hits in, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because I'm so close to dead dead. Mm -hmm. So I'm slipping back here. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to target your girl. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target her with dark light. So flip back over at the end of this. Um, we're looking for, what am I looking for on her? Six. So I'm really looking for nat 20s. 15. Close. Uh... Target takes three damage if it has no special attacks, does it? Yes. All right, so that's going to be 11 damage plus four, 15 damage. You cannot make special attacks. So how much, 11? Yep. Okay. Cannot make, make special attacks. Okay. Samurai time, Ancestral Katana. So Ancestral Katana, two squares away, he's in range. Am I hitting against seven? Man, that guy's been like on the edge. You're gonna zero him just because you're passive. Wow, oh my God, that was terrifying. So he's dead. Mm -hmm. You draw two more two more spell cards. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you took away my ability, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Give me the ability, it's mine now. It doesn't go back to you. Well, it doesn't come back to me, but it's like on my side. Okay, that's uh, that's it. And she is 14 health. Man. Oh, here you go. Man. So she's the only one active right now. Mm-hmm. We're well, going to attack fine. the wolf, and then we're going to attack the girl. I could back up here, couldn't I? Yes. Just to guarantee a better hit mm -hmm. on the wolf. Yeah, for Let's sure. Let's do that. Hungry Spirits. I can target him twice. Okay. That could be a hit. Let's roll it again just to see if it's crit. Yes, it is. That okay. is a crit. We're spreading oh, the scroll. Finally. Oh, no. Finally. What are you doing? Uh, Chaotic Fury. Deals 16 damage instead of 5 this turn. Oh. So that is going to be a total of... Six, six plus, plus four 16. is going to be... Why four? Oh, another enemy within five squares takes four damage. Yeah. So he should have taken four damage, not her with an additional four damage last time. So he's dead. So yes, he would be dead. So she would be four healthier. One, two, three, four. But your I just killed your guy. Still, that's just how it would have been. But I killed your guy. With your guy? Yeah. Well, that's fine. Okay. He's, he's dead. I'm now attacking here. So I get two. Unless you just want to... I mean, I don't know. I, I, that was my mistake. How, however you want to resolve, it's fine. If you want to give her the additional damage and have him alive. You should just hit him with four. Well, I'm I'm hitting him 
and he's going to take four either way. No, I mean, like, from last time, you should have, like, instead of this guy getting four, just hit oh, him with okay. four. okay, that's fine. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But then, yeah. he's also, he's going to be hit by four now, so he's going to zero anyway. This guy? Yes. How so? It's the same ability. But is it within range? Hit a target on your first hit. Another enemy within five squares of you. <sighs> He's not around in five oh, squares. Oh, he's no longer in five squares. Yeah. Of is one, two, three, four, five. She is, though. Yeah, so yeah. she's going to take four extra damage. Okay. One, two, three, four. And how much damage are we doing to this yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's you're resolve still, that. You still have another attack to do. I know, I know. Let's resolve that. So it's six, 16 plus 16 six. 16 plus we're, six. Yeah, we're at uh, 22 right That's now. That's what he's taking. Yeah, 22. Go ahead. Oh, you, yeah. you got to roll again. Do the next one. Mm hmm. That is a hit. Oh, Let's God. Let's check for a crit. It's not a crit. So 22, 28 damage. Oh my god. That zeroes him. You killed him. That zeroes him. Oh, so that way, that's a total of four scrolls this turn. That's freaking crazy. <sighs> We're actually really close. That's kind of yeah, crazy. But I would have won a long time ago if I hadn't rolled four ones in a row. Not necessarily. One of those would have zeroed you immediately. Well, sure. That one was of those, crazy. One of those was like 40 damage that I just completely missed. Man, I cannot believe that we're at this point right now. Um, oh, no, yeah, yeah. What, what am I thinking? So one, two, three, four, and we're activating rapid fire, mm -hmm. and that's it. You die, no matter what. <laughs> Why? Because residual damage is 15. All right. Yeah, but let's. we can roll it just in case. Um, so first, she's at 15. Okay, so first attack. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. That's a miss. And finally, hit. Yep, that's it. She's dead. That'll do it. That will do it. Well played, sir. Oh, that was awesome. Those one rolls. Yeah, that was crazy. That was like too much. The fact that they were in a row was the most painful part. That was insane. <laughs> It was really funny, though, but it was crazy. <laughs> I would have been so mad. You took it pretty well. Yeah. So so what's your what's your impressions on this? So I know, I, I don't know all the details of the mm. new Kickstarter that's launching. I think probably people are watching this due to that to a large degree. And I believe they are, you know, revamping and reprinting some of this. So okay. like some newly sprued models, some like higher mm. details, some higher renders. But then also adding some extra like expansions and piles of content into this environment, this world. Okay. Um, what's your take on this? Like you were brand new approaching this, so yeah. No, this was a, this is a really um, approachable and fun skirmish game. Mm -hmm. I'm not usually a fan of skirmish games at all, like sure. combat oriented games like this. But I felt that the breadth of decisions that I had available to me. Um, were always interesting. They mm -hmm. always felt like I had some way of taking advantage of a bad turn. For example, the idea of having residual damage, I feel is really good because you can take advantage, like even if you have a horrible turn or a horrible thing, you still do something. With I that. mean, not when you roll four <laughs> ones in a row. Well, that's but... a total of what, 30 damage I or know, more? But still. But I know it. It does suck, it, but it did. It did keep the playing field close. Level. Mm -hmm. Like the fact. Well, look that we where were, we are. That's what I'm saying. Like it did. It did keep us around the same page. And maybe if I'd rolled one less of those or like adjusted my strategy, I might have been able to come back and win. Yeah, um, maybe. It just depends. Like I, I might have played a little recklessly there towards the end because I was like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it's kind of. I'm kind of. Mm -hmm. There's no. There's no other thing. And yeah. And. I really like the idea of setting up the board at the beginning. Like I, the the amount, the 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 crazy amount of setup and modularity that this has, I think, is a really huge boon I, for it. I think as that's well. the most impressive part to me that every single bit and piece is shiftable and adjustable. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many different character combinations and card combinations and party combinations, mm -hmm. and um, that it, it does create a really interesting kind of arena combat fighting game. And I usually like the idea of arena games. Yeah. More than the application. Yep, yep. And this is probably one of the best ones that I've played. I yep. actually enjoyed playing through this arena system, mm -hmm. whereas most of them, uh, there are significant moments throughout the gameplay that I'm just not having that much fun. Yeah, exactly. And, and this spe one... Speaks volumes since you had some really bad turns well, there. Well, the bad, the bad turns weren't fun. They were funny, but they <laughs> weren't necessarily fun. Oh, of course, they would never be fun. You know, and I did, I did think I was out of the game a lot earlier than... 
maybe I really was. Yeah, actually, but that yeah. is that is probably due to me needing to learn more about the game and mm -hmm. understanding how my party and abilities work, and less so a reflection on the game. Mm -hmm. That's more me as a... Well, but in know. retrospect, like, just... You saying that you had fun overall, I mm -hmm. think is huge because you had those moments where it was like, oh my god, how mm -hmm. can... There's no way that this can be enjoyable. And you and saying you have fun doesn't count for anything because you <laughs> literally pummeled me into the ground. Well, that is not pummeling. <laughs> you did really good. Like, I thought I, I thought I would win with, like, four, three I people. really thought you'd have four people on the stage when you... Yeah, won. yeah. That, you nailing that 20 at the very end, that was mm -hmm. crazy. And that's another thing that's really fun about this you type of game. You feel powerful. Exactly. Yeah. There's these turns, this these climaxes at every turn that feels... But Whoa. enough mediation to not make them game-breaking, which yep. is really interesting, because it's hard to make a game where you feel powerful while not ending it within 10 minutes, or while not making it feel, making other characters feel weak. None of my characters felt weak. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a single one. Everyone felt like they could do some incredible oh, things. Each one was quintessential for me um, as well. As long as they were able to do it, and I, I mm -hmm. played them correctly, and I got them in a good position, and maybe gave them a buff that allowed it to, like, mediate some of those actions. Uh, I, and I think that's I think that's big praise for a game like this as well, that every person feels like they hold their own. So when I approach Kickstarters, and it's part of the things that we're going to be talking about right in the future when we're, we do our Before You Back and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, we're working on a new format. Um, one of the things that I really want to touch on is what does this do differently compared to other games that might be, that, that I have or anything like that? Mm. And I think this is that skirmish game where if you have this one, you don't really need any others because it is there's so much to it and it's so easy to get into. Well, and it, it gives you a PvP, which I think is important for me. Mm -hmm. It's probably the first thing I go to in yeah. skirmish games. Not, I love campaigns, I love narratives, I love the story. I can get that from a vast majority of my games. Exactly. And so it having that is nice, but not really the deciding point. It's just for like me. an added flavor. To the co-op mm -hmm. is okay. Mm -hmm. I'd play it with Viv, or like if we just wanted to like sit around and drink some drinks and just have some fun without mm -hmm. being mean to each other. Normally, we want to be mean to each other, so it's nice to have, mm -hmm. right? But again, a lot of other games I can play co-op. Usually, a arena kind of combat game isn't my go-to. Mm -hmm. Just for me and my game. Yeah. Player. But I don't have a lot that does PvP like this. No. I don't have a lot that reflects the RPG, the D&D style, mm -hmm. has that kind of flavor, that theme, and allows you to exist on a battlefield with, with characters that feel heavy and full. Um, so, like, that's why we did a gameplay. Yeah. To show people that are like us, that are, would be making the decision based on this element, this system of a game, even though there's a bunch of other things that are included, this is what I'd turn to when deciding. But I think this also demonstrates how strong the system itself is, right? Sure. If it works in PvP to this point, yeah, yeah. the co-op must be I'm a blast. I'm not concerned about the co-op. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's and the point. And I've heard great things about the co-op. Like, exactly. I think most people play through the co-op. Most of the videos out right now are touching on or reviewing the co-op elements, the story elements, the, the you know, player versus environment system. And it's gotten really high praise in those mm -hmm. areas. But this also stands up. No, yeah, and so. I love that we were able to bring in scrolls and artifacts. Like, I completely changed the and game mixing, compared to yeah. other way th the other times that we played. And you didn't have to bring those in. But not at all. Those were making it a little bit messier, mm -hmm. which is harder to track, but I like that it scales in terms of that, like, complexity. Because at a certain point, my group of characters would be a little basic. They each have four abilities plus a passive. Yep. Well, mix in heroic actions. Mix yep. in a pile of scrolls. Mix in some artifacts to change up how their powers intertwine with each other, and you have a completely different party. Yeah, and it's and it's amazing. They feel so unique, especially when yeah. you add those additional things. So it's it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I I hope that whoever's watched through this gameplay got a good sense of how it functions, how it plays, um, and can kind of interpret or or reflect that mm -hmm. on the other systems in the game. Yeah. Um, you know, if you did, please leave a comment down below letting us know if you've played it, what part of those kind of systems you're interested in playing the most. Is it PvP like it is for us, or are you interested in the campaign or the player versus environment or a really solid kind of RPG combat game where you don't have to have a DM? Yeah, exactly. It replaces a DM in some, to yeah. some degree. Uh, but whatever you do, though, remember to do the importing thing. Get out and play some games. See you guys next time. I mean, it's good that he did it at the end. Like, he's been trying really hard. He forgot to do the subscribe push. We usually ask for your all support. Like, there's that was good, though, right? There's a lot of stuff going here on the channel. 
<laughs> you know, I have all. You did the subscribe push at the beginning. I have all. I told them to unsubscribe at the beginning. If they get to this point, I want them to resubscribe. Remember to do the important thing and subscribe. <laughs> and play some games. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Whatever you guys do, though. Remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>